Madonna is back again today with another video and in today's video I am super excited because today we are going to be jumping into the new ColourPop Sailor Moon. Yes you guys today I will be doing a look with the new ColourPop Sailor Moon collection. So today I'm going to be showing and reviewing everything in this collection for you guys. So of course I'm a 90s baby. Yes born in 94. Holla. This is literally a throwback to our childhood. Of course if you fuck with Sailor Moon you definitely know what i'm talking about so yeah you guys just the whole like packaging and everything for this collection is literally throwing me back like you guys ever had a folder that had this hologram on it where like if you move it in different ways it actually shows like different images i actually used to have a ton of folders like this back when i was like in elementary school and it's so crazy that this just literally gave me a flashback this is what the palette looks like it's a nice like spring palette if you guys ask me because there is so many pretty pops of color so yeah i'm just pretty much channeling my inner sailor moon you know i got my little my little anime buns going on and i feel really cute and girly you guys um i would never do my hair like this but i think for this look of course for sailor moon it is just like giving me a whole vibe like what what y'all think yeah like y'all feeling this so yeah is the Sailor Moon collection worth the hype? Is it worth being sold out everywhere? You're definitely gonna have to stay tuned and watch the video to see my thoughts on this collection. And yeah, thank you all for watching and until next time guys, bye. So jumping straight into this tutorial, I always get asked what is the clear gloss that's on my lips every time I do start my videos. So it is the Essence High Shine Gloss. This is only $3 at Ulta. So yeah, this is kind of like what I always use to like prep you know my lips obviously this is a gloss it's not like a chapstick or anything but i just like the way it looks so shiny while i'm filming so i kind of just throw a gloss on also before we jump into the tutorial of course i do want to like get this off my chest because i feel as if i can't just go about my day without talking about this and obviously it's what's going on in this world with this whole coronavirus thing going on the city is pretty much on lockdown everything is closing or closed and you literally cannot go anywhere there's so many people that are infected and getting sick and then just so much happening and if you're anything like me that you're on social media 24 7 especially because it's my job or if you're just you know a person who just wakes up and goes straight on their phone you kind of could get sucked up into things that you see on social media and to be honest with you like this whole coronavirus thing it's it's pretty much like taking over my whole entire life like literally today i was telling myself like i really want to play with the sailor moon collection but then half of me is like what is the point you know what i'm saying when there's bigger things happening in this world but i decided to push through and still jump on camera because i'm tired of hearing about this coronavirus like i get it obviously we have to stay in the house for probably the next month or so who knows but if you have really bad anxiety especially like myself i do not want to keep getting sucked into social media and keep letting this affect my day so i'm gonna push through by playing with makeup hopefully i can distract you guys for the next you know 20 minutes or so and just you know hopefully take your mind away from everything bad that's happening and obviously you know think about something positive um obviously not everybody sees positivity in makeup but obviously that's my passion that's what i love doing and i'm gonna try to you know take my mind away from all of this crazy shit that's happening right now and jump into the sailor moon palette so i hope everybody is staying safe of course i know this sounds cliche but wash your hands i would be devastated if, if anything was to happen to any one of us as well as any of my prima donnas anybody in my family so just stay in the house stay productive take this time honestly that we are quarantined to do something that you've been wanting to do for a long time whether that's start that youtube channel start that blog start that podcast read a book write a book girl be productive all right we we cannot be lazy through this time and we have to just make the best of it so yeah obviously this is a distraction from the coronavirus so i'm just gonna leave it at that 
know more about the coronavirus. And now let's jump and play with some makeup, finally. Yes, please, thank you. Okay, as soon as I opened the box, I was literally screaming, you guys, cause come on, packaging is fucking sick, yo. Like, OD. So this is what the eyeshadow unicarton looks like. Really, really pretty. And then it does have all of the shade names in the back. And of course, when you open it, it does have that really cute hologram packaging on the front of this as well Hold on, wait, let me find it there we go so these are all of the shades right here i honestly do not know what look i burped oh my god i honestly do not know what look i want to do today so i'm actually gonna do kind of like what i did in my bretman rock video and that was to do one eye off camera and then i'll be right back to show you exactly what i come up with and of course show you guys how i do the other eye so I'll be right back. So I'm back and this is what I came up with. I think it's super cute and I got to like utilize a lot of the colors. So anyway, let me just show you guys what I did. So the first color I went in with is this bright yellow right here. This is the shade Justice. So I basically just stuck this right in this inner corner right here. If you guys can hear Autumn in the other room, she's having like an intense session of dolls right now so don't mind her she's like having a whole argument amongst her barbie dolls so i'm gonna leave that girl alone <laughs> and mind my business so now i'm going into a mac 217 brush and i'm going in with the shade tuxedo rose these three shades right here actually have like to actually have like little tiny reflex of glitter so you can actually kind of like see it a little bit like they're matte eyeshadows but they have little tiny reflex of glitter so they don't make it shimmery or anything it just actually adds just like flakes of glitter in your matte eyeshadow which is matte cute but anyway going in with textured oh i'm sorry tuxedo rose i'm putting this right next to the yellow color um so we're kind of like doing an ombre type of crease the fun thing about doing looks like this is actually like when you blend two colors together it's actually gonna blend into its own little middle color right there so right now we're blending like that coral right next to that yellow and as i'm blending it's kind of making like a little pretty orange right here so for that outer corner color now i'm going in with the shade miracle romance i feel like these three colors look so so freaking cute together like oh my god <laughs> with this shade i'm going to finish up that ombre in the crease but i'm also actually going to stamp it right here so i want it to drag back onto my lid kind of like that so what we're doing is kind of like creating a little mini little moon right here you know sailor moon half moon okay no that makes no sense stop <laughs> I'm going to take a clean, tiny little blending brush. This is actually the Morphe Jeffree Star brush in JS12. Now, as you guys can see, this has no product on it. So I'm literally going to use this to diffuse right here these outer corners. So you do not want any product on this brush. Boom, just like that. Okay, I also went into this ColourPop E4 brush. This is my favorite brush to cut my crease as well as my BH Cosmetics brush. This one is just a little bit bigger, so it's quicker. So yeah, I just take a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand. You really do not need a lot. And yeah, I'm going to do a quick cut crease. Now keep in mind the shape of this brush. It kind of like just does the work for you. Now that you have your little cut crease going on or whatever, now you want to go ahead and set the lid. And I'm actually going to take the shade Shining Mood. This is another kind of like matte shade that has like those little glitters in it. And with this shade, you can actually really see it on my lid. Maybe because I didn't blend it out like I did in my crease. This one is more packed on. So you actually, like depending on how you apply these shades, you can actually get the glitter to show up. Now this shade is so so freaking pretty because it is a nude with like little pink glitter oh my god it is so pretty and we're going to do the little scratch method back and forth and this is how i get my shades to blend on my lid so now i'm actually going to tap a little bit into the coral color and i'm going to scratch right alongside you know where that purple is at just so that way it looks cohesive. So last but not least is, of course, that little inner corner pop. 
Now, I kind of did a little concoction to do my inner corner. So the first thing that I did was take the bright yellow again, just this, and I popped this right onto the lid. Now, as you guys can see, it is a matte, so it's not going to reflect in the light the way I have it on that side, as you guys can see the difference. So how I did that actually was, so I have Justice down right there in my inner corner. Now I went into the shade Silver Millennium, which is this shade. Now, if you actually swatch this shade, it doesn't really swatch like much, to be honest. Like when you swatch it on the hand, it really does not show up that much. So at first, I kind of thought it wasn't going to, you know, give me what I want in my inner corner. But to be honest, I feel like this is a perfect topper, which is, you see what that just did? kind of just like brightened up the yellow and it just was a topper for that yellow you know customize my own matte shades and make them a poppin ass inner corner color okay so moving on to the glitter next they also did come with two glitterly obsessed gels this one is called moonlight legend this one is more of a pinky color the other one is called moon prism power and this one is more like a purple now if you guys actually notice this is a very thick gel so it's kind of hard to make this into a liner so i'm going to show you exactly what i did so i took this is a bh cosmetics rose gold collection number 12 brush and as you guys can see it is a very tiny precise brush took a big glob into the back of the cap and now what i'm literally doing is just dipping my brush into the glob making sure that my brush is picking up a tiny little bit of glitter at a time and what i'm gonna do is as you guys can see it does eventually turn out to be pretty thick like i said you just have to make it work all right guys so i just popped on some lashes and these are what the eyes are looking like i will try to link these lashes on my instagram because they were actually sent to me and the case actually has like no name or no brand so <laughs> i really don't know what lashes these are well, i did already prime off camera so let me tell you what I used. So first I did go in with my Fenty Beauty. This is the hydrating primer. And then I also did go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. So I did just do a little spritz over that. And as you guys can see, my skin is nice and hydrated and ready to go. So for foundation today, I'm going to be going in with a oldie but a goodie. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. So I was like, you know what, let me back this out because I know it's going to be perfect. Um, and I know it's going to be full coverage. I don't want to experiment because I'm already experimenting with all of the rest of this brand new makeup. Oh no, girl. I got mad glitter on my face. Like, no. If you guys have never tried this foundation, this is a higher end foundation. It is so worth it, you guys. Like, it is so beautiful on the skin and it, like, photographs. And it photographs really, really nicely. Like, I really love this foundation so much. Oh my God, you guys. I literally feel like I just fell in love with this foundation literally all over again like wow it is just so stinking pretty on the skin it literally just looks like your skin but better so for concealer i am going to be going in with my l'oreal infallible full wear concealer i am in the shade 360 cashmere this concealer looks beautiful under the eyes and it is full coverage We'll be using the Fenty setting powder today. This is the Pro Filter setting powder in the shade Butter. This covered up my dark circles so good because, girl, let me tell you, these dark circles were intense today, especially because I have not been getting that much sleep because it is damn coronavirus. Like, I cannot stay off of social media for the life of me. Today, I just couldn't do it no more. I was like, listen, I need to film a video because I need to stay the fuck off the internet. All right, so you already know to set the entire face, I will be taking my Sephora Michael Smooth Setting Powder. And this is with a BH Cosmetics number one brush. I'm not sure what collection this is. But I've been loving this brush to put on my, um, to set my face. We'll be taking my Fenty Beauty Private Island Sun Stalker Bronzer. And this is a BH Cosmetics number four brush. And I've been loving this brush. Oh my God. Oh my god, I've been loving this brush so much for 
bronzer because it does not drag on the skin oh my god i believe this brush collection was in the take me back to brazil i'm trying to debate which blush i should go into and hold on cuz why is there hair on my lip mm. the hot pink one would look really cute not gonna lie but oh, i don't know y'all know i'm a sucker for like peachier tones i kind of stay away from pink so i don't want to mess up the look so i'm gonna go in with this one which is cat's eye the blushes are actually really forgiving you guys so do not be scared of them in the pan because i'm not gonna front i was a little scared now y'all know i always od on blush but this is a sailor moon look so bitch we're doing it let's jump into the eyes really really quickly i kind of want to do like a really bright waterline because it is kind of like a anime type of look okay so this is the nyx jumbo pencil in milk and i'm gonna put this on my waterline oh my god that's cute this is so not me but it's cute oh my god if i have blue eyes tell me we're not giving sailor moon right now <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna go back into a Miracle Romance, which is that purple. Bitch, I don't know why I swear there's a mirror here, cause there ain't, okay? There's not. Is there a mirror in the blushes? Yes. Drag this, is right next to it. Going in with the coral color. And put this, ooh, this looks so pretty on the lower lashes. And of course, you cannot forget about the yellow. Okay, so, to be honest, I'm actually filling this Millennial shade actually as a highlighter because this collection did not come with a highlighter. So I feel like this shade, even though it's not like super pigmented as an eyeshadow, what I mean by a topper, it's perfect for an inner corner, a brow bone highlight, which I'm gonna do right now, actually. I'm gonna take my Bretman Rock this is a Wet n Wild Bretman Rock Brush. And I'm gonna go in, girl, and I'm gonna use this as a face highlighter. Oh, yes, yeah, see, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it was gonna be cute. Look at that. Last but not least is the Lip Duos. This looks so similar, like. I kind of felt like they should have gave us like a bold lip and then like a nude lip type of duo. But hey, but yeah, as you guys can see, they literally look identical so again not trying to confuse you guys but this is the daylight bundle and this is the moonlight bundle and i'm gonna do the daylight one i'm not sure what we're gonna do oh, i feel like this is way too pink maybe a nude with this gloss on top i don't know girl so i just quickly lined my lips with this kylie so money baby liner it's just like a regular nude and now i'm gonna go over with caro from nyx this is one of their soft matte lip creams but i am gonna use the gloss though let's just see how that looks i hope this doesn't mess it up because this looks super orange Oh no. Yeah, this just turned it like more orange. It's actually really cute. I'm gonna spray myself with the color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist, which looks like this. Super cute. All right, you guys, so I am gonna do my hair off camera, but pretty much this is it for the makeup look. So I'm gonna do my hair really quickly and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look.